Good morning. It's 7.23 a.m. This is Tuesday Adams. It's um, June 23rd, 2023, right? I think. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think today is... Uh, I'm not sure. I'm kind of getting lost. <laughs> it's pretty bad out here. <laughs> You should see me. <laughs> um, was it last weekend? I think it was this last weekend on Friday. Um, they had a festival. Oh my God. I went, I went and got, okay. So, so I sold my jewelry. It's like, I'm making jewelry. And, um, cause that's all I can do is write. I'm writing and I'm, um, making jewelry now to try to sell it. Oh, and I made, um, flyers up. And put them up at the library with my phone number on it for, um, and I, you know, Brighter Days is not a real company, but I just, you know, I'm looking for Brighter Days. <laughs> but I just put Brighter Days house cleaning, you know, and then I left my phone number, so I was like, take one. Because I need a job. I've got to survive, right? I mean, I can clean house, right? It's not that big of a deal. If you can't put me in the kitchen, then let me clean your house, right? I don't have a, I don't have a, I don't have a vehicle. I can't, like, go out of town to get a job. Okay, um, so, um, this lady bought my whole box. The whole box of jewelry. The whole box. She bought the whole box. So, I went and got, um, a six-pack of Voodoo Ranger, of course. <laughs> I didn't know that. And then the lady at the gas station was like, I w um, she invited me to the ballpark. They were going to have something over there at the ballpark, but, you know, across the street from the nursing home. <laughs> This is really a small town, um, and uh, and they were they were gonna have something out there, and I I play I thought maybe I might go, but um, but I found out that they were singing out here. <laughs> oh my God! I just got something. You know how that goes. Um, I just um, I have it in my soul. I have this like. I have something inside of me that is going to make me, I can't stop. Okay. Um, singing is something that I just totally enjoy. Okay. And then, um, there was a band called Country Sky, which I wondered if that was the band that rock star across the street. I don't know this for a fact, but I just wondered, but they have a Facebook page, Country Sky. It was at the corn crib. Oh my God. I was there until nine o'clock, which was halftime and they got a tick break and I left because of course, you know, I'm, um, I'm in danger after dark and I have to lock myself up and barricade myself in and make sure nobody can get in because <laughs> I have, um, they did something to me that causes rapists and murderers who like to burn people's bodies to hide the evidence after the after the finish raping okay rapist murderers are um attracted to me um i'm i mean i have been used as bait they have um they've done this to me and um they did it in muncie um and instead of putting these people in jail, they they get killed, murdered. Okay, um, and they're predators, but they get they do get killed. The police will kill them. Um, they use their shadows to cause them to commit suicide or cause someone to get pissed off enough to kill them. And they before they ever get close to me, they die. And um, I've been used as bait, and I don't get protected. I don't, you know, it's wrong to do that. Um, but they did do that to me, and it's still happening. Um, anyway, it's, you know, I'm married to the power. Some people call it the Illuminati. Some people call it the police power or the FBI shadow. Some people call it, um, you know, just a mafia power. Some people call it, you know, um, demonic, satanic power, satanic. But, um, every once in a while, it just grabs onto some type of, um, what they call illegal heat, um, as a weapon. And, um, men that are rapists, 
their backwards in their heads and they're like they believe you don't deserve to live and they will rape you and blame you and then kill you and give themselves an excuse like well you were the monster that's you you are the evil one because you lure me and you don't even you know you have a monster power and it's the truth it's really a monster power <laughs> and <clears throat> And I did not do that to myself. Okay, the, they did do that to me in Indiana. And I was chased around by stalkers. I every once in a while I had to call the FBI. I had to call the police. And homicide. And, um, you know, they would set me up. I, racist people would really come after me to try to kill me. Rape me. They wanted to rape me and kill me. And I can usually uh, pretty much, because it is a police power too. I, ha I do have a police power as well. So I always know when they're after me and I always know what they're planning to do and I always I'm able to protect myself just because I know you know I sense what they're doing it scares me to death though I <laughs> sometimes and you can't medicate that power they have tried it always comes back there's nothing that you know you would have to kill me get rid of it and I, whatever they did was really bad to me <laughs> then i and they and also i have i have an fbi lawsuit for that because of what they did that was illegal to do that <laughs> anyway um it's, it's so every once in a while it goes it does that to me and um and that's what they did to me and that's why i got fired at the pizza man okay and so i've been walking around with this heat between my legs like a fucking dog attracting all these animals Everybody can feel it, and it's not my heart, you know, to really, you know, be a predator or hurt anybody or have sex even. <laughs> Let's I have a disease. <laughs> um, you don't want my disease. Trust me. If you rape me, <laughs> you're gonna die. Okay, I promise. <laughs> okay. Um, so stay away from me. Okay. <laughs> because um, there, or, you know. It's just good for you to stay away from me. Um. Anyway, I'm just really not, I'm not, you know, I don't want a relationship. I never did. I, the only people that ever mattered to me in my entire life was my children and my grandchildren. And so, but anyway, <laughs> so I went to, and I, and I, and I, I sang my little heart out. <laughs> I enjoyed myself so much. And then um, I realized, you know, it gets on people's nerves because I'm not the star of the show. Of course I want to be, but I'm not. And so I left. When I took a break, I just took off and went home. And after dark, it's better for me to go home um, before dark and lock myself in um, because I have no protection. Um, but I do have everything barricaded and the police do know and the FBI knows too because I always have to make sure they know where I'm at. <laughs> Even though I'm not the predator and I have no record I am not a sex offender, but sex offenders are attracted to, to hurt me. And they always have to know where I'm at, even though it's backwards and I don't have a record. And, um, and you know, every once in a while that does, it does drag on and they do try to blame me. And usually if they blame me, they are predators and they are sex offenders. Okay. So, and the police used to use me like that. They were like, well, we know she's not yelling because we know her. <laughs> we know her. She's. We know her. We're with her 24-7 every day, you know, for years. So if you're blaming her, if you're doing something to her, you're the one who's going to jail. And they've always done that. And um, that's how they catch certain people because it instigates uh, instigating power that just they can't. They drives them crazy until they either kill themselves or kill someone else or get caught because they can't take it. Um, but I'm not allowed to be medicated because if I, if they, if they numb me to the fact where I can't defend myself, it's illegal. Okay. Cause I'm not crazy. It doesn't drive me crazy. It drives everybody around me crazy. And that's not an excuse to make me defenseless. So anyway, another writer, in this town, um, uh, Stanley Victor Paskovich. Now, 
This is Curse of the First Bite. It's about uh, vampires and succubuses. And I thought that lady, <gasps> when I first started reading, I thought she was a siren, which is in the succubus family of women uh, monsters, <laughs> um, uh, women seductresses. And, I mean, this is beautiful. I'm on page 302. There's 448 pages in this book. And um, Matthew, it says, Mr. Hales, Matthew Hales, so on the right, wrote the other books that I read before. He did the um, cover and book design, Mr. Hales. And then the cover illustration is by David Labounty, and I'm sure they're all friends here. But this was, um, that's the illustration and the book. Um, just, this is a self-published book, it looks like. Um, okay, so uh, Stanley is a veteran, a war veteran from the Gulf War. Okay, so that's, um, and then, um, uh, this whole book is an epic poem. And I love it. I got a little bit lost or, or when it was talking about the for the creation of the first vampires. There was like nine of them at the time. Jesus died on the cross and then took the wood and made a cross and skins. And we, along with Satan, they cursed it and then they were cursed to roam the earth. It didn't make no sense. But <laughs> other than that, I really interested in how they portray women monsters, women predators, and uh, that they have always called witches and how they use their powers and it's interesting because you know i'm the one they always blame for that and for some reason i really have that power but i'm not that person it's really different and uh, i kind of see myself as the um woman sort of but i don't sit there and point i don't try to have my way every day and yeah everybody does try to want the, things to go their way but <laughs> you know some people are worse than others you know, um, to kill, to get their way. And, and that's true. I mean, that is a very uh, common trait that these predator, women predators have. Uh, they have to have their way or you're dead. I am that way. I am so that way. Because I'm right. <laughs> and they're not and they know better I don't want to get away with murder some of them will do it to get away with murder I'm not that person I only want my way so I can get my son better he's been brainwashed and kidnapped I want him to see a doctor and a counselor I don't want to medicate him I don't want to put him he's not stupid he's very intelligent I just really feel like he's being lied to and he's not stupid maybe Maybe they've broke his arm off. You know, it's a mafia that he's in. Okay. Uh, closet monsters <laughs> that, uh, that his girlfriend covers. She knows this. And when they're raised like that, they have been spanked for telling on the predators in the closet. So they have learned to look away and let it go. But what they do is they go behind everybody's back and make sure everybody sees what they see. That's why they are borderline personality disorder. Because that's what they do. They do not. That's how they deal with people in the closet. Okay, because they have been raised to do it. And they know they have to do it quietly. Okay, because they've been spanked for speaking the truth out loud. Because most of the people that, you know, run the... the world are in the closet and they are those people sadly <laughs> but they have to make a way for people to survive who are normal too and um and you know uh people who are healthy and i'm healthier than these people i'm healthy don't send someone to a counselor who's healthy don't send someone to a doctor to be medicated when they're healthy i'm healthy just because a whole circle is saying something because you're not like them doesn't mean you're the one who has to be going to jail. You're the one who has to be set up and be, and be medicated. I don't think so. 
Just because the whole circle says it's you doesn't mean it's you. Okay, that's, you know, oh, a thousand people tell you that you have a spider on your back, probably have a spider on your back. That might be true. But if you don't get out of that circle, they're going to continue to put spiders on your back. Well, if five people in your fringe circle says you have a problem, you have a problem. That's not true. They have an issue. They're worse than I am. They're not healthy. They want to get away with murder. They're criminals. I'm not. They're not responsible. I am. Be careful about people who do that. That's dangerous. And I said, well, usually if it's not everybody else, then it's you. Be careful. It's not always true. Put your glasses on. So. I'm loving this book. Um, and I felt like this was a setup because <laughs> um, there, this book is uh, quite erotic. Quite erotic. Um, the way men like to see women erotic. Uh, she's very brazen and bold like a man would be. I don't see a woman ever doing the things this woman does. She is, you can tell I may have wrote it, <laughs> but, um, I'm still interested I, in this book. I, I was really interested to see if the man still lived here, the author, and he does, he still lives here and I enjoy it. I don't care what people judge writers to be. I appreciate them all, even Stephen King. Okay. Because they are talented, gifted people. And you can learn anything from anything anybody says. Yeah, it's insightful to see what people think. And I love reading anyways. So this is a beautiful illustration of, um, of predators. Real personalities. Um, vampires. And uh, women seductresses. I love it. It's sexy. It's erotic. The plot is really good. Um, I mean, the further you get into it, the kind, um, uh, you know, the beginning was so, um, in, 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 uh, encompassed. It was so, uh, drew me in so, um, so tight that, um, I, you know, I'm, and then, then I realized that, you know, there are a lot of people ask me, oh, what do you think about that book? I couldn't get into it. I was like, I love it. It's worth it. Okay, but I appreciate art. I'm the type of person that loves anything. <laughs> okay, and um, but I don't appreciate like the B horror movies when it's just basically porn, soft porn. This is what it started out to be, but it's not. It really is just an interesting um look at predators, about females and male predators, and yeah, it's um pretty much the same. Because, of course, they only have two personalities. Um, there's only two personalities, anyway. Um, there's only two types of powers, anyway. And so, just this is a, this is a pr pretty much a, the standard twist on it. But I thought it was interesting. I liked it. And I love to just, you know, explore the minds of other people, you know, who are artists. Especially ones that are closer to me. I, and, and you know, I like that. I mean, I, I can appreciate anybody's art. Um, and uh, I, I like this book. Uh, I would recommend it. Um, I wouldn't recommend it to anybody who was um, 18 or younger, or uh, 17 or younger, um, without uh, parental permission or, you know, um, supervision. Because it is X-rated, R-rated. This is R-rated. Um, but it is definitely pornography, uh, in it a little bit. Um, but not so badly that it makes one repulsed. I uh, was not repulsed by this. Um, I liked it. I mean, I was, it was really ironic and sexy. I like it. Um, I've got, I've got, um, like a hundred and some more pages to go. And then I'm going to turn it in and get another one. There's a couple writers here. I am, I'm, I'm like, there's, there's like, what is it, Matthew Stanley, and then there's a woman, and then another man, 
That's four. Okay, there's a rock star here. Okay, and then me. <laughs> so, um, that's six right there. This is a lot of creative energy here in this little bitty southern Illinois town. I love it. I love it. And, you know, being dropped off here, it's not the worst thing I've ever been through. Let me tell you. This is not the worst thing I've ever experienced in my life. I promise you that. Um, so, um, look for me next week. Um, I look for my podcast. Um, look for the Curse of the First Pie. I really don't know where you would find that. Um, look on Kindle or Amazon. I'm not sure if you could find it there. Look on Kindle or Amazon. Um, look it up on the internet. Stanley Victor Paskovich. It's worth it. He's got four or five books already out. Um, this one's an epic poem. A whole thing is a poem, <laughs> which is really awesome and talented. That is very gifted. So I, I appreciate the book. I know, a Curse of the First Bite uh, about vampires and women, succubuses or seductresses and their powers. I absolutely love it. I love it. Um, it's, it's engrossing. I mean, I just really, I really got drawn in on and I, and I, I, I'm not. I don't regret it. I love it. So anyway, um, so I'm continuing to write my books. Um, I was wondering if I might put this book. I was going to put Tuscola Hotel or Motel, uh, Tuscola Hotel. And then I've got one called Route 36, which I'm wondering if I'm going to just put it, compile it into just one book and make it Season of the Witch. I don't know. Season of the Witches, I, it's about Dillinger, the Dillinger hideout, and my ex-husband's family, and things, you know, that go bump in the night, and it's about power, but it's different. It's a different thing. It's not quite about, it's not, it's not like a blown up uh, superhuman version of um, these personalities and powers. This is, uh, my reality of everything that happens to me. Um, which I experience psychic visions. Um, I experience, um, empath empathy, empathy. I mean, uh, you know, uh, empathic sensations, um, uh, ghosts and visions. Um, which, uh, they, 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 which is reality for me every day anyway. Um, so, um, uh, I just, I just want, I don't know what I'm going to do because it's kind of a, um, might be, I might make it like Matthew Jam, I might make it a trilogy. Or I might make it, you know, sequels, because there might be more than three. I'm not positive what I want to do with this. Um, man, I want to get out there to the Library of Congress. I want to take a trip to the Washington, D.C. Library of Congress so I could get my books and retrieve them. If they're not going to copyright my book, they need to give it back. I sent a self-addressed stamped envelope with a huge one so they could put it back in their manuscript and bring it back and give it back to me. If they're not, I filled out the wrong freaking application and they're not going to return my money. Well, then I'm going to sue them. They don't have the right to keep it if they're not going to copyright it. I swear to God. I'm pissed. You know, I could have used that money for something else. Okay. And I still got publishers trying to contact me so I can publish it. Well, it ain't been copyrighted yet. I can't publish it right, right yet. Okay, some publishers will do it at the same time. Okay, um, and uh, you know what? I would love to do that, but I really don't want. I have issues. Okay, they want What they do is they make the books and then they sell, and then they copyright it at the same time. Okay, and then they put the copyright in it. Okay, well, <laughs> all right, but <laughs> I. I didn't want to do it like that. Okay. I didn't want to do it like that. Um, so, you know, I, I have a different way I want to do things. Um, 
and I have that right to choose as an artist what to do with mine. Okay, I've never done it before. Okay, you know what you're doing and I don't. So, so that don't mean you're right and I'm wrong. And it don't mean I'm right and you're wrong. It just means I'm different and I would like to do it my way if you don't mind. If I have a sense about something, I, then I want to I, I pay attention to it. Okay, I have a sense about some things. I, I don't want to do something. There's a reason for it. I trust my instincts because I'm always usually right. 100% always usually. <laughs> I'm usually never wrong. Uh, I might be, uh, uh, the timing might be off, but I'm usually right. And I'm usually right on target. So, <clears throat> anyway, I really need to go up there. Gosh, dang it. And I, you know what? Why can't you give me a car that would drive, that, that would make it there? You know, when I bought that, I couldn't get a goddamn car or a truck that ran out of the fucking city. Somebody did that on purpose. That was on purpose. I'm fucking mad. Okay, you control everything. Don't tell me your eyes on above me. Watch me, stalker, fucking thief. You wait until I until I until I fucking die so you can rob me. I swear to God. The lawyer that did that died. Okay, I thought it was over. It's not over. Now I got a goddamn another lawyer in my fucking way. <laughs> okay. Oh God! Well, no, and um, I did, I did, I did. Uh, um, guess what? I'm not gonna tell you. That's my first mistake. Is I tell everything, so I'm not saying nothing. Okay, so but you'll hear later about something that's really exciting that I'm doing. And I'm excited about. And I might get oh, so so I did make flyers up, and guess what? They're not trying to put them up. I got one up in the library. Okay, but the one that I put over here at the corn crib, I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> no, you can't clean houses either. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I quit smoking. You know, I ain't smoked for a, a week. Over a week. Ah, no, I was I smoked a half a cigarette a day because I go and pick them up. On the, on the ground and I re-roll them. I've got tubes and I have a cigarette rolling machine and I empty the butts out because I'm about to smoke after somebody I don't know. And I re-roll it and I have about that much and I smoke one a day and then I got this and this is almost gone. I've got one nicotine patch. Mm. Yeah. But yeah. We got Seven more days till the first of July. That's my ex husband's birthday. It would have been 53. How did he still be alive? He's been dead for three years now. Going on three years. The spirit seems to still be alive, but, um, you know, um, you can't block me from trying to work and make money and pay the bills and drinking. You can't stop me from drinking beer. Can't stop me forever because you'll end up going to jail. Not me. I don't do anything illegal. These people are drug addicts. Trying to tell me what the fuck to do. Yeah. If you can work, I can work. Okay, well, uh, look for me next week. This is Tuesday Adams, and thank you for joining me on Tuesday Adams show. Um... I don't know. Uh, well, I'm just taking it. I'm winging it, man. I don't know what I'm going to do next week either. <laughs> okay, so, but. So, um, Monday Market. Um, I have a few pieces of jewelry left um, that I made this week for after, after the lady bought my box on Friday. Um, I made some more on Monday, and then I made a few more pieces yesterday. 
Um, but yeah, I sold a lot <laughs> yesterday too. So, um, so, but I got a few left and I'll be out there on Monday, uh, uh at the park, um, with my jewelry. Um, and, uh, maybe I'll put some on Facebook and get a hold of me on the, on Facebook. Um, I'll take pictures of it and show you what I got. You can order it on Facebook if you want to. Um, I might do that by next week. I don't think I might not. So don't count on it, but I, I might, I might do that because people have been asking me for my Facebook page. My Facebook page is Tuesday Adams. Uh, look for me. There is a fraud out there that's, um, uh, trying to steal my, um, still <laughs> my ideas and things from me but she, her name um, uh, she used to be Annalie Autumn report that lady she's a fraud and thief <laughs> Annalie Autumn is not Tuesday Adams okay <clears throat> anyway not the real deal I am the real deal there's also a Tuesday Adams in New York City who um is a to me um she's a performer that is not me either <laughs> okay um so um i am the real Joe tuesday adams and um uh so so anyway just look at my look for my facebook page tuesday adams and you'll recognize me and recognize my voice um I've got my brat picture on his eye body. I'm a Marine Corps brat. My dad was a Marine Corps. He was a, a Lance Corporal in the Marine Corps. Um, and uh, I was a brat. So um, I've got my, and brat, um, I've got the initial statement, a bitch and rage against torture, because that's exactly what they've been doing to me for years and years. Uh, torture. <laughs> uh, um, so that's my brat term. That's what that means to me. Um, so that's my, that's, uh, my photo on pro my profile, my Facebook profile, my Twitter profile, look for me on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. <laughs> um, and then also look under Trula because, uh, that I was doing a piece on, uh, human sacrifices and then I began to do a reality show, um, and there, and I have not published those yet. Uh, because it all got messed up. <laughs> Everything got messed up because I was a human sacrifice for the gay mafia power. And that's not going to happen. And my son was too, because we were not those powers. Okay, we're not, you're not allowed to sacrifice uh, the other side, the innocent ones for your power. Okay, that's illegal. And it's an FBI lawsuit. Okay, so so have a good week. This is Tuesday Adams. Thanks for joining me. The Tuesday Adams Show.